So, specifically for Leah, the character of George, both um, in print and on the screen, is an incredibly complex character. I mean, she's a tomboy, but in, in certain iterations in the comic book, she's a lesbian. Um, so she's very, very multi-dimensional. So can you talk a little bit about the George that you'll be playing in the CW series? Of course. So George Fan, when you first meet her, she does have this really tough exterior. I mean, she is a very independent manager who runs the claw. She's very functional, very... Um, take charge, but also, like you were mentioning, um, the complexity of her character is that, I mean, she she's in her early, she, she's just a teenager, you know, like she's an older, young adult, rather, who is going through things um, and these insecurities that we see her go through, but like, you don't really start to see that until later, so even though she is incredibly tough, she has a very, very soft exterior. Um, and she does come from a tougher side of town, so it takes a bit of a second to really break down those layers and see who George really is, which you'll start to see over the progression of the series. And your character as well is a huge reinterpretation of Bess. what Bess is in the in the books and, and even brought to life on, on screen. I mean, um, so, and, and there's like a whole richer backstory as like you're a city girl yes. and you've got a mysterious past. So, so um, what are you hoping to bring to this character, this new character? Well, in the books, there was a lot of poking of fun about her weight, um, and there was a lot of jokes that would not run nowadays. So it's nice that we've stripped that, this, you know, back, and it's a much more modern take. Um, but she, uh, she is not from around town. She's a newbie. Um, she's trying to find her feet and make friends, and she doesn't know anybody. And she's working at the claw, which is something that she's not used to doing. Waiting tables is not her forte. <laughs> um, so. So, but she's definitely complex. She goes through identity crisis and uh, just finding who she is. And again, we're all young adults. So it's a really nice um, character and age to play because it's all about that sort of where do you fit in and the, the lane that you want to go through. And, and so, yeah. Yeah, and, and what's great is the dynamic. The three characters, you guys and, and Nancy, are all so different, but you complement each other really, really well. So how do you, can you talk about sort of establishing the dynamic once you guys all got on set together, like how did you make it feel like these are the three best friends? Well, we actually, we get on so well in... <laughs> we have become fast friends and fast sisters. Her and I... <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> we are so Save close. It. But um, it's actually interesting seeing how different all the characters are. I feel like we're three different types of what one whole woman could be. You know, you see Bess, who is very feminine and very proper um, but also a little clumsy too like yes. we're talking about in the claw and then you see Nancy who's like really headstrong and very determined mm -hmm. and George who is more of like the snarkier side and more sassy side of a woman but when we're all together like I feel like we just complement each other yeah like, we all have qualities that the other one doesn't have and like on screen together it's cool to just see us like join forces yeah that's so awesome, and, and I'm so excited to see you guys bring that to life. So you are on The CW with a whole bunch of like amazing, amazing shows. So if you had a dream crossover, what would it be between Nancy Drew and any other CW show? Past shows, too? Sure, yeah. Oh. Nancy Drew in the 100. Can we make it happen? I did not. I am so ready to be like... Did you? In the 100 is so cool to me. I think I was obsessed with that series. How about you? I would say Batwoman, just because I love Batwoman. That would be so interesting, because we're such a small town yeah. kind of show, and then Batwoman is like in the big city. I won <laughs> I would Nancy be Drew fine. in the big city, we'd all be like, what? It's like too much stimulation. A lot of stimulation. I, she, I feel like her character would really get off on I would be, I'd be fine. Yeah. You'd be showing them. Yeah. He actually knows it. Oh, exactly. yeah. George would be like, why are we here? What are we doing? That's amazing. Well, thank you guys. This is going to be such an exciting season. And I can't wait to see the show take off. Thanks for supporting. It was great meeting you. Yeah.